and welcome to Slovenia. Got the rental car at the Ljubljana airport and here I am now at Lake Bled, probably the most famous tourist attraction in the whole country. You can really see that it's a lot of tourists here. Well, this place is totally epic. It's very beautiful. You can see the castle right up there, mountains surrounding the whole area and the church is right over there on the other side. I'm gonna hike up to the viewpoint to get even better view for this beautiful beautiful stunning crystal clear lake. Bled is definitely one of the most beautiful and picturesque lakes I ever seen. Also it's a great place to stay. I stayed here for two nights and visited Lake Bohin as well. Before reaching the largest lake of Slovenia, I took a little detour to the mountains. This is Vogel Ski Center, where I just took the cable car first uh, up the mountain, like around 1000 meters, all the way to the 1535 meters. And after that, now I'm taking the ski lift. Uh, at first I thought maybe I would be hiking up here, but it doesn't really look that interesting. It's just like a normal road going up. The weather is not the best either, like it was raining already a bit, and in the afternoon it might be raining even more and I already heard the thunder. What I really like about this place is if you step just a little bit out of the path then you can really be just by yourself and it's really peaceful here in the nature. But well of course this is not really adventurous hike, it's all like man-made paths and easy to go around and even use the ski lifts and so on. So I made it to the top of Mount Vogel. Well, so I thought actually. The summit is right over there. But I think I will skip it. I will not summit this mountain. I will summit hopefully some other mountains later. Because today I have to have time to go to the Lake Bohing as well. But this is definitely a nice place if you want to get high in Slovenia really fast and easy. And it started raining. I'm going down now to Lake Bohing. Here we go. Because of the heavy rain I couldn't hang out in Bohing as much as I wanted, but I really enjoyed exploring the shores of the lake, even I got completely soaked. After checking out the most famous lakes of Slovenia, I wanted to take my trusty Opel closer to the mountains and Socha river. I had found a cool Airbnb in Kobarit and decided to stay there for the next two nights. So I made it to Kobarit. It's still a bit early so I cannot check into my accommodation yet. So I decided to go see one waterfall. The waterfall Kochak maybe? Something like that. Hot weather right now, but it should be just like 30 minute walk. And the starting point is very close to Napoleon Bridge. There's a huge parking lot where I left the car. I'm 
really impressed of Socha river already. That's one special river. The color is just unbelievable. Crystal clear turquoise color water. Just amazing. Airbnb, really amazing place. I'm just loving this Airbnb. It has a really like a huge yard and this place is like middle of the forest basically. So close to center but completely isolated. So far I've been really impressed with Koparit. Koparit is a really nice small town located within the Julian Alps in the Socha Valley, close to the border with Italy. After checking out the city I tried to sleep early as next morning was time to head to the mountains. It is around 5 a.m. It's pitch black. I had my alarm set at 5.20 but uh, I woke up around 4.40 already. I'm just too anxious to go to the mountains. The sun is gonna rise soon and it's gonna be amazing. This is what I've been waiting for. I really love mountains but don't get a chance like this too often. I had decided to summit Mount Kuran. It was an easy ride to the starting point of the trail through some narrow roads. After passing the village of Kuran I arrived to a rather large parking lot. I have arrived at the starting point for my trek to Kuran mountain. It's already very beautiful scenery here. A lot of sheep around or some goats. I saw a deer also on the way driving here. So here it says it's three hour 30 minutes to Koran mountain. It might be a bit slower for me as I'm filming on the way and just want to enjoy all the scenery and should be nice, should be nice. Delicious Chiquita bananas are rich in potassium. Provide complex coffee. It's tough, but the feeling of joy and happiness is just unbelievable when coming down from the mountain. This has been definitely the highlight of the whole trip so far and <clears throat> oof, I can hardly speak. <laughs> Quite exhausted and still have ways to go down there. The highlights of this hike was early in the morning when I saw those three deers just like 20 meters away from me, just running up the mountain. 
it was just a magical feeling to see those. And the other one was, of course, reaching the summit. Had been a long time to summit a mountain. I had to say, I right there, right on time, like on the last moment, because it was just like three to four minutes and then everything was covered in fog. I'm very happy now. <laughs> I can see the parking lot in front of me. Oh, so exhausted. Good morning. It's time to check out and leave this beautiful Airbnb behind. Today I'll be heading to Ljubljana, the capital of Slovenia. But before that, I'm gonna check out at least one place. Let's go. So this is the Netica river, the other river here in this area. The water should be warmer here than in Socha river. And right behind me over there is the bridge Napo Leono Most. <laughs> the water is really like nicely refreshing, but well, at least in this part it's not as clear as Socha River and definitely not as touristic as Socha River. There are not so many people here. Very nice place. But uh, let's go check out the bridge now. This was definitely a beautiful place worth visiting if you are in Kobarit and you have a car. It's a nice road to drive here as well, very narrow roads. But now it's time to head to the capital of Slovenia, Ljubljana. road trip part of this trip is over. I returned the car. It was very easy to drive here in Slovenia. Of course a lot of narrow roads. This mountain road circling like crazy. There was not so much traffic. The locals are driving quite carefully. They are not driving too fast or very crazy. And of course the roads are very scenic and so beautiful. So I definitely recommend renting a car here. Pretty much a must if you wanna go to the places like I went. That will make your life so much easier and it will give you the freedom to do as you wish. Also the prices are cheap. You can rent a car for around 20 euros a day or even less. But do your research and uh, book the company that you can trust. Today I'm just gonna chill and just walk around in the city a bit and get some nice dinner. When I didn't go to the coast of Slovenia, I had to try some seafood as I love it the most. And I was actually quite impressed. It was absolutely great food, but then it started raining again. In normal situation, I would have eaten much more out. But as I was traveling solo, I didn't concentrate so much on food on this trip. That is a bit of a shame, as I'm quite convinced that Slovenia might have some of the best food in Europe. Slovenian cuisine is very diverse and I enjoyed everything I tried. Not to mention the local wine and beer were excellent as well.
Ljubljana is absolutely a beautiful city, but it didn't feel that special after seeing all the amazing nature Slovenia has to offer. From the crystal clear lakes and rivers and waterfalls to the endless mountain ranges, it's just epic. It's easy for me to say that Slovenia is the most beautiful country I've been in Europe. There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown 